and your constant excuses make me so friggin' pissed. You know they do. The Varuva for the Fuva is a gift that ain't on your list for taste from the mighty yellow fist. You get a bunch? Here I'm playing, there I'm playing, everywhere I'm playing, playing. Nice. <laughs> Do it right this time. If <clears throat> you think you can, <laughs> you're like, hello and welcome to a podcast. <laughs> Wait, just a podcast. <laughs> just a podcast. Hello and welcome to just another horror podcast. Yeah. I'm John. I'm Ben. Cobra. And we're doing The Children again. Only this time it's 2008. And it's a little better. It's slightly, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Do you have any history on this movie or anything? Or? No. Is this Cobra an said... Uh, it's not an after dark, it's a ghost, ghost story house. or ghost house. Yeah, ghost house. When did Cabin Fever come out? 2003. Okay, I got this as the tail end of... They just were like, hey, we like that idea. A virus. We won't say what it is, where it Holy came from. Holy fuck. Is it? I don't know, those kids are fucking phlegmy. Okay. Remember, they remember show some just, parasites. Okay, we're gonna talk oh, about yeah, they it. Do. We're gonna talk, we're definitely gonna talk about it. Look like uh, seventh grade science where you drop the purple dye on a fucking onion peel and you can see like I'm gonna be fired up about this movie. Hey, I had never seen this movie. Cobra, you told me pick a Christmas movie, so I wanted to watch something that I hadn't watched because the other stuff I texted you, you just kept going, Nope, nope. What did you text me, Ben? Well, Black Christmas has a really good... Uh, I wanted, also wanted to make it easy to watch. We've been doing a podcast for three years. Why would you think we wouldn't have covered Black Christmas? I wasn't here for it. Plus, I if know. you look on Podomatic, it's gone. So. Oh, well, we could have... Well, who's fault is that? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> What's going on? A beer bottle just kind of fell <laughs> in the trash can and yeah, Ben jumped like a pussy away like something was coming after him. I thought the cat was coming through the door. <laughs> Why would you jump? I don't know, man. Oh, man, that's funny. Now my notes are all smeared. Oh, you spilled your beer even. Yeah, a few drops. Oh. <laughs> well done. Anyways, <laughs> I hadn't seen this movie and I wanted to watch this movie. Oh, to clarify, it's my fault, but you can find it on YouTube. So. Tube Tube. It's out there. It's on the Tube Tube. Wow. That cat's a killer. <laughs> that cat doesn't have any claws. Oh, it doesn't? Mm-mm. But it'll oh. bite the fuck out of you. The first notes I have probably don't explain anything. I just have dumb teen, overjoyous kids, and shitty parents, I think. They're driving. Yeah. Who? Okay, let's... This first 15 minutes is a little... 10, 15 minutes is a little long. Who? Casey, mm-hmm. the oldest girl. Miranda, the blonde-haired girl. And the littlest boy, Polly. That is Jonah, Jonas, Jonah? You're yeah, ruining not... this anyways. Do we care about Go the on. kids' names? I don't care about anybody's name. Exactly. I want to get the families. Who's who? There's two families. Oh, yeah, two sisters. The blonde. The crazy little blonde girl. Yeah, Miranda. Yeah, the okay. Blonde. Jonah. Jonah is a name I have written here. Jonah. Is that the guy that's all into Eastern philosophy that then just beats what the shit out of his kid? the fuck? With the glasses, yeah. <laughs> that's Jonah. <laughs> I was like, he's yeah, Chinese very... medicine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Whack! <laughs> he just beats the yep. shit out of the kid. He was waiting this whole movie to punch Casey, and he did by the end of the movie. I have quite early on in this, like, I actually feel bad for the teenage girl because she's the only one that's not. There's young, young kids. She has nobody. And there's yeah. older kids, or the parents are older. And then there's her. Like, I felt bad. I was like, why would you take this girl? She doesn't want to... Well, Clearly, she's she got her want... uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can lose that? the uncle. Just call me your lover. I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh... I'll tell you what's up with it. He was going to fuck her if he didn't get killed. Yep, yes, that's but... What was, that's what Clearly, was this too. director... Do you know his name? Uh, Tom Shankland? Yep. He's trying to throw some message out about what parenting is during this, like the 21st century. Is he? I think, because he's got these parents who they're shitty. They're they're real shitty, shitty parents. They parent shame each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, We're homeschooling our kids. Yeah. Is here. There's that. They they throw yeah. those lines in. The one little shit kid does something, and the one. 
stepdad. He's a stepdad, I believe. But I think he's... or is he a stepdad to the teenager? That's what I thought. Okay. I was trying to okay. figure Might out the, the kid, the kid. I thought he was the two little kids' dad, dad but not the okay. 16 to 18 he, year old. He spanks the one kid. She's kind of hot. Yeah, I agree. I had to look up to make sure I was okay to say yeah. that. Yeah, no, so did I. <laughs> she's like, all right, she was born in 86. Um, oh, she's, well, <laughs> she's much younger than. She's not our age, but she's old enough to say. But he you were born in 85. Yep. She's your age. Oh, she, I guess she is, yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. he's spanking the kid, and then the other parents are like, "We don't, spanking we ourselves. don't do that around." You know, well, guess what? I, I, I I'm them. pretty sure that they're saying there's something, there's, there's a message here about parenting and like what this. Well, I didn't get it. I got it. If your kids <laughs> act up, you fucking. Well, it's also them. Yeah. these kids are like clearly these parents are witnessing these kids do horrible fucking shit, and they won't discipline them they won't admit that the these kids are doing something wrong they're too and, busy and absorbed with their own lives and i think that's on. what the guy's saying yeah. of, the worst um, person in this movie is parents the mom of the house that this takes place at yeah. she is the worst character yeah. so it's a uh, what 10 15 minutes you're just they're trying to build tension mm. I don't think it's it's not working. The very kids well. are creepy, but they also are annoying. They yeah, laugh too much. The little Paulie just keeps yeah. smacking his xylophone. See how hard that would be to fucking try to direct the movie though when you have kids this young and they're not. Exactly a lot of them, I think, a lot of them they were probably just like running. Yeah, just go. Just acting do the way whatever they you do. Yeah, because it gets a little grating. But then is that what he, is that you guys are parents? <laughs> What's that like when kids? are screaming they won't shut up like i mean is it it's horrible you gotta control yourself to not just lose your goddamn (laughs) go jack torrance on your kids yeah but then that leads you to doing a lot of staring at the floor (laughs) staring at the wall (laughs) yeah most of the time i just clenching your fists you can't do anything (laughs) yeah if they yell enough you just like just take it or you give them something else to like (laughs) take their mind off of what they were just complaining about there's also the line, whatever's happening is affecting this one young boy first. And, like, he pukes. And you get the parents who are already at the cottage or house. I don't know if they own it. But she has the line, why would you? Why would they bring a sick kid here? You know how susceptible so-and-so is. And that's another thing parents do today. Yeah. It's like germs are the, you know, some germs are good. You have to expose your children to. People our age are fucking terrible parents. <laughs> I think it's what the guy's trying to say about this movie. In this movie. Oh, at this point, Rudolph came on, and I have written down, his nose is shiny, let's bury him in the back and make another one. Anyway. Yay! Anyway, continue on. <laughs> well, I, it doesn't really get going, like I said. They don't do a very good job of... Casey is drinking whiskey. Underage. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I said, I wish I was drinking whiskey. I said, that dad's naughty. Because this is a terrible start to this movie. It's long... It's a long 15 minutes. Yeah, I was the audio. Like, you couldn't really hear what was going on. I heard Chinese about. medicine mentioned 14 times. <laughs> I don't know what about. Um, and then, is it what? The next day, you see the one girl cough on her pillow and there's some brown smudge. And that's when we get a look at bacteria. Yeah, it zooms into the pillow and it goes into the blood and you see some amoeba parasites. What does it mean? <laughs> no one knows. Uh, no one knows because no they don't tell us later. Yep. The next, hey, what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring this out right now and see how what you take. Is there something supernatural going on? No, I thought it. There's no ghost kids. I, where were where where were all these kids and they just appeared in the woods? Yeah. How? If it's a virus. Did they get near a nuclear? Where are their parents? Yeah, but why? There how were kids there, there at the beginning. When? Where did the kids go? When they all go off into the woods. What the fuck you mean? They were in the car. They they were driven there. They were already in the house. No, there's I mean the kids, kids at the there's very more. end of the movie. There's like 40 of them uh, standing there. Uh, maybe just the countryside is being infected. I, I took it as like a cabin fever type. They just... We're not going to explain... We're not going to show the kids drinking water out of some reservoir. I thought cabin fever tried to explain it. Well, this no, but I meant... At all. They should just... Here. Bacteria. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> but like, that's not, it. But they don't yeah. tell you anything about a virus. No. They don't... And what do you? How do you pass it? Do it? I mean, they're just killing. You kill think. all adults. Okay, because at the end, Casey might have it, but she looks like she's too old to have it to me. 
She just looks like she just got out of a really shocking situation. I think she was just. I I, yeah. I I thought she was just. Mm-hmm. In shock I thought they wanted everything us to you think read that. is like yeah. yeah was Casey possessed at the end or whatever infected or I don't know it's it's a hundred and it's a, probably about a hundred thirty thousand dollar movie. But if you're gonna go, you you it takes show, an extra dollar to write like what is happening. You show <laughs> a blood speckle on a pillow and then you zoom into it like there's a, a what. A blood speckle. speckle. A what? A blood speckle. On a what? Pillow. On a what? Pillow. Pillow. <laughs> Pillow. <laughs> and so you zoom in and you show me that there's something freaky going on in this blood. But then it's nothing. And then all these kids show up at the very end of the movie when they're in the woods. And then that's I think it. there's ghosts. I'm convinced there's ghosts. <laughs> I, okay, I mean, I don't know. that, And I'm convinced somebody accidentally put their science slide into the film. I don't know what. I don't know what. Maybe they just... I I don't think at that point, do. like, I don't think that's what they were... They weren't really trying to explain to you. They were just showing you, like... The, they wanted to show you the carnage. This so, like, bullshit about don't show it is getting a little too far, I think. Show it. Fucking show it. I want right? to see Enough. people get mangled. Show it. Just, if there's something you want to tell us... Tell us. We're getting stupider, okay? But the I, movies need to get stupider. Yeah, with I could have used any little exposition dump here just to tell me what if what if they got a phone call and they just were like, um, there was some something spilled. Something, yeah, yeah. anything spilled. Like why it doesn't matter. Well, then they would have to try to explain why the why the adults weren't being infected. Like Cabin Fever, they're all Everybody there is infected. Like, this is just... Well, then come up the with kid. a better script or story. <laughs> so, how about children are more susceptible to diseases? One of them is sick and is spreading the disease. Oh, well, maybe. There you go. And the adults eventually may have caught it, but they were murdered first. So, you do bring up a point. Maybe it's like... At the end in the woods, or about halfway through in the woods, Casey's trying to... The teenage girl, she's trying to run away, basically, meet some friends who are going to pick her up and go to a party. She goes through the woods. Is this when she she falls? No, the that's The kids when, are running around that's, her. That's a little later. Is it? Well, okay, that scene. Why I xylophone. Why don't they... Uh, the kids! Why, doesn't, why don't they kill her there? Who? She's not near the kids. There's kids. Like, she can hear them. They're around her. They know where she's at. She yeah, falls where in the are woods. these... Giggles that are coming from the woods. That's what I mean. Like, if why didn't they kill her? She eventually makes her way back to the house. Yeah, that's because shit really starts going down. Dies. But but the, there's a little boy that farts. Yeah, Does he? that happens. I mean, yeah, he farts he... out of his mouth. Oh yeah. No, he really he farted. actually farts. Okay. I think so. It was like well, they laugh. The next day they're outside. They're looking for Jinxie the cat the whole time. He's too. dead, I think. And he's been dead. Yeah, I think yeah, they hung up his guts in the tent or something. They did. They, you they see Jinxie, yeah. Jinxie, uh, collar. Yep. Um, so there's so there's some sledding, and then the, the little kid, for the first time, lets start, the sled go. It's more like they're just... They're playing everywhere. They're just little shits. Like, yeah. uh, the, the, the adults are trying to sit down at a table and drink, I don't know, tea or something, and one of them lets a sled from the top of the hill go down, and it... Hits one in the ankle. Hits one of them. That's when the old... That's when Dad goes up and beats the piss out of that Yeah, the yeah, Eastern and philosophy you know loving... That I just have, what a dick, the kid yeah. and the dad. Both of them. <laughs> Fuck them both. <laughs> so I, have, I hate everyone. Um, Snowball fight. But then the... Uh, now we get the creepy scene. Which, what creepy scene? The uh, girl and the uncle. Oh, uh, and they're pot. in like a greenhouse. Yeah. Smoking yeah, pot. smoking it, dude. What does he say? Something about the doors. Can and you he, plug the doors? He, yeah. No. I will stand down plug right now. Plug the doors. I will not plug the doors. He said something about doors. Jim Morrison, you plug the doors. Fuck. Mm-mm. I hate the doors. You don't like the doors either? Mm. I like I like basically the greatest hits. Do you like my greatest hits? Where go through to the others? Where go through to the others? Greatest hits. Right, uppercut people. <laughs> um, I think you should say yes or you might come one of them. That's right. <laughs> You film it? <laughs> <laughs> so the, um... Yeah, the uncle, he's smoking weed in a greenhouse, and he sees a tattoo. He's staring at her vagina. Basically, just blatantly yeah. staring oh, at it, yeah. And no Chris Hansen to... <laughs> Admittedly, this, this girl this is... This is where I thought that she might be 18, because yeah. on the phone earlier, she's talking to Lisa, who is her friend that may pick her up later, and she's God like... damn this scene. <laughs> 
She's like, oh. you gonna fuck your uncle yet? And she's like, no, you baby raper. And I'm like, what? What are they saying? That's why I thought it was like 15, where it's just it's absolutely nonsense and stupid. The dialogue is but, just... Um, yeah, he was pretty creepy when he showed her the one spot on the property where she could get reception. Yeah. I thought they were gonna fuck right there. And yeah, I, they probably yeah. should though. If this girl uh, is eighteen. Show me her boob. I don't care. <laughs> she has a tattoo of the abortion that got away. What the hell? Which was she that was. She, that was. she like claimed she was. Fetus abortion. attached to her belly button. Yeah. Her mom was probably a stripper earlier in her life and had sex with some guy and that was her and then she met this guy four years later and then had this other family. I have. I feel like all three of their kids were accidents. All three. I do all feel like. I, I said that this is like a, some sort of statement on parenting where everyone babies their children and stuff. But then at the same time, I want to know, these fucking kids keep saying they don't feel good. They're coughing. And the parents yeah. just kind of ignore it. Like, Does what? anyone like, notice how sick these kids are? Yeah. Nope. Because they're all tangled in their own lives. But nothing's going on. Yeah. They're just talking to themselves. They're literally talking to themselves. They're just saying, I like this, this, and this. It goes off into nowhere. And I, I, was, I was pulling for you, Cobra. I was hoping the uh, pink underwear girl was going to take her top off, but she didn't. Sorry. Weak, yeah, weak, weak, weak sauce. <laughs> there right could have been something. Um, so there's chaos going on at the dinner table, and one of the kids grabs a knife. And they're just like, no, 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 put that down. <laughs> I'm like, okay, no. Dude. And then everybody feels sick. This is the uh, this is the most awkward dinner that, ever. Did we already get to the the sled riding accident? Nope. That's about to happen. That's after when dinner. shit just goes down. Yeah, right? that's when my notes become just three or four words per line. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, they notice she has a tattoo, and the, the problem with all this build up here. Her we, aunt calls her out on it. She's like, because she catches. She catches her husband. Her husband the uncle. looking at that tattoo. The and she's like, is, hey! Or you her got that shit. tattoo, and her mom this, exploded. All of this build up. All of this character development is meaningless. It means nothing. It does nothing. The characters later on are just dead, and people drive away. So it means nothing. Yeah, it's just and fodder, also, yeah. right? Is that what they call it? The, and the teenager, it's not like the mom doesn't believe her or hates her or something later in the movie. They're cooperating, kind of. Sort of. Yeah, enough that... All the kids start crying at the table, too, don't they? That's I have here. Do kids fucking yell like this? Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Absolutely, they do. You know what my daughter got to do last night? Like, literally this loud. I want a juice box! <laughs> What'd you say? I said, you just had a cup of milk, and you're gonna wait. And then she cries and goes in her room. Oh, I thought you were gonna pull the Vince Vaughn and just look and go, what? Why are you yelling? <laughs> yelling? No, she yells at me sometimes. I think it's when she gets tired... She gets a little mean. Like, hangry. Yeah. When I say to Garrett, it'll be a second, he goes, No! You do it now! Oh. I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> Kids are great. Yeah. <laughs> they are. There's something about a gold star chart that these kids are That's getting. another that's thing. That's what the parents are doing. That's a, I think that's another uh, thing that they're trying to say about parenting. Is this what British people do? That's why the uh, British suck. Have you seen <laughs> yeah. parents in America? Yeah, we suck too. We're pretty yeah, bad. exactly. Are like, we? yeah, what? where it's instead of, I don't even know, teaching your child. Like, it's all about the gold star. Do you want to get a gold star? Who's gonna get a gold star? And it's like, there's more. How do the kids not go? That's fucking gay. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope they start. <laughs> Okay, so oh, now yeah. the sled riding scene happens. Wait, 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 wait. Casey's labias are hanging out her short so skirt. Yeah, <laughs> uh, skirt so short. Keep short. having so hot. But earlier on, I like I said earlier on, I checked, made sure that was okay, and now I'm gonna continue to say it throughout the film. <laughs> okay, now the dad's out playing with the kids. Yes. Not. And Casey not, goes off to call her friend. Not pervertedly playing with the kids. 
No, he's actually being a good father. He's sled snowball riding. fighting, and he's about ready to take a sled ride to death. That's well, Casey again, falls yeah. all at the same time. So this is where uh, I felt like eh. maybe this was a supernatural thing because exactly when he hits the thing to the face, she falls, she down, falls right to the ground, and you hear kind of like that, eh, like that little kid kind of whisper kind of shit that you hear throughout the movie. Yeah. But again, they don't explain anything at all because yeah. you think it's gonna be a virus the way that they pan in on this blood with a. Bacteria running around. We, yeah, what are some bacteria? Name a parasite. Amoeba. Be cool, Name man. another one. There you go. And is it an amoeba one? It's something. Or is that something else? An amoeba is like a... Something. One celled organism. That's right. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. You're the science nerd. You should be know that. I'm more John's about space next, science. John's yeah. next non sequitur. Viruses. Be? You got it. You're more about... <laughs> you're more about um, making shit up in the space world. I, I do. I know. have this theory, uh, there's nine planets out there. Except Pluto. That's not there's a theory. It kind of is. You hear the M drive? It I'm can go to close to the speed of light without using propulsion, which is a violation of Newton's third law of physics. Every action must have an equal and opposite reaction. Has anyone this tested violates this it. thing yet? It works. Nobody stuck it on their ass. It like, works and they themselves. don't know how it works. They don't understand it. Who discovered it? I don't M? remember... No, the EM is for electromagnetic, I think, hmm. or something like that. I'm not buying it. Well, they published a paper, but that doesn't mean much, because you have to publish in order to get paid if you're a scientist. Oh, yeah, you have to be a virgin. So. Hmm. I want to see this machine. So do I. I'm really excited. I want to see it. What is it? Uh, it's M called drive? the EM drive. Okay, but what kind of machine? It can. It, it's a method of propulsion that doesn't need uh, a start. It doesn't need like bu like fuel. Yeah, it doesn't need it like just goes rocket by itself. does. It doesn't yeah. need the and it can travel extremely fast with, by using extremely. What's it low... shaped like? Right now, it's just a little gold thing. And it just moves by itself. Um, how do you I'm control it? Hundred percent sure. Exactly That's how I'm how saying. Like, have they actually shot this? Yeah. Thing? How would you control this thing? I don't know. Put it on I don't know line. anything about, other, other than the fact that they published a report saying that this impossible thing has you finally worked. Smell that, Ben? Bullshit! I smell <laughs> bullshit! <laughs> I'm just telling you what I read. I don't All know right, if it's well, true. Well, I hope it comes out. Viruses in this movie that defy the laws of science. That's true. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So they, they do pan to a virus, which you think or are expecting. Maybe that's the twist. The one dad is, uh, the, the pervy uncle dad is sled riding down a hill, and the kids, what, they, they put they some rake. tool, yeah. some rake? Yeah, it's on rake. some, like, wagon, flyer wagon. And he looks up the last second and pff, impaled in the face. But did you notice that, like, the top of his head was flapping later on? No. It, like... Because he got hooked. I, don't I thought know the how kids were mutilating that. the bodies at the end. I don't know. How did the? I would have loved to have seen the kids move the body into the tent. How did that happen? Was yeah. that supernatural? I don't know. They moved them pretty fast. Yeah, they did. They also run into the woods. All the they, kids. they just scatter. They like, do the, that the, throughout the, the movie. The kids have gone full blown little shits right now. Fuck these brats. Um, little Polly. They're. There's this That's weird this thing where they're having trouble getting the ambulance to come out for this guy, the injured guy. He never does uh, show up. No, and I'm like... It, no, I mean, they even... Joan is on the phone and says, I called half an hour ago, and they say, well, give us one hour, we'll be there. Yeah, that guy's not living. No, uh, I, I'm not sure... His brain's hanging out. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's just so remote. Is this bad? I, I can't <laughs> imagine it's so remote. This girl's getting some sort of cell service. Mm. Uh... There's electricity. They say in the movie, don't they? They say, where the hell is the ambulance? And yeah. I thought that would have something to do with it. Mm. Didn't. At all. <laughs> they never show up. Spoiler uh, alert. The... Where was Roy Burns that on the poor, scene when he needed him? That poor guy, <coughs> he just left in the yard by himself. Like, no one's mm -hmm. really... like He's dead. Do they know that yet? His wife, is she crying over him yet? No, I think she's trying to get the ambulance still. Casey um, goes into the woods to find the kids and finds Leah. Because the kids scatter. Yeah. She falls and screams. Uh, the, the, when's the blonde mom 
the, the, the boy one. on that like jungle gym thing. thing. That's coming up. That's coming. Oh, uh, that's fucking gross in that bone goes. I want to know who kicked her. No, 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 no. I think it is. That on ice. when you said that. No, someone oh, kicked her. Oh good. my god! When you said that yesterday, I legit lost my mind. <laughs> Like laughing because I was just imagining some kid coming up behind somebody and pull it up, them. pull it up, go to YouTube, it's on there. Because I swear to God, it looks like someone comes up and they kicks pan. Her. She has like <coughs> yeah, crappy... it does pan to like the bars. Well, she while has she's crappy up them. like rubber muck boots on, and you can see like a cake of ice on the bottom of them, and that's what I thought she just slipped. But if she slipped, how would her legs break like that? But then they kick her in the back of the leg, so they shouldn't snap her leg, she just bend. Oh, and then that little shit at the end, she has that uh, makeshift uh, brace on her and leg. she just takes it <laughs> off? Take the, the, uh, yeah. the sticks that are holding the poor woman's leg upright. What text message did you just get on your 2001 phone? Are you watching it, John? Trying. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. This make... I swear someone kicks her. No, she just fell and it broke. I think she really, just no one kicked her. No, I think she slipped. Let me see that again. They panned to her boots and they were they had ice all over them. I swear someone comes up behind her and cur- like drop kicks her leg. Oh, I think Casey's coming up soon behind her. Maybe. Okay. This is definitely the version I watch. I see those Spanner subtitles yeah. on the bottom. <laughs> there were times during this movie when I was trying to read those. <laughs> oh, poly. See, they pan. There's ice all over. But how would that break her leg? I don't understand leg? what's happening here, either. She's climbing to get him down, but, but... he keeps moving backwards. Why would you go any further? The kid's not up exactly a high. The kids are pretty, uh... What you call it? Durable. This is me, the playground, so maybe this is another one of those things, Ben. See that? Someone kicked her! I don't think so. Nobody I swear to God! Her. Look again! No, oh, you're all over the place. You're gone now? You're gone. You're now, gone. here it is. I'm gonna get there. Oh, that right is here. cool. Oh, that blood. What's yeah. this leg coming in? There's no leg coming Where in. Where are we She's at? She's already done. Okay. God Please. damn. There is a leg that came in there. No, no one's believing me. No, Fuck no, you guys. That's why I laughed so hard just when you said that. I'm like, no fucking kick kicked no. her. She yes, they lit. did. <laughs> you motherfucker. I was going to ask if you were pulling it up on your phone, but I should have. <laughs> I can't pull anything up on my phone. I'm going to look it up again, and I'm going to post it on YouTube, and I'm going to punch you both. So the kids just basically start taking out the parents one by one? Yep. Okay, the, Here's the, my the, question. Okay. okay, now when you we say that the kids didn't attack Casey when she fell, she little, Polly, little Polly goes after her. Does he? Yeah. I think, In the, I think the kids go after her when they realize she's not going to be one of them. No, I thought that was what Miranda was doing, but what is, okay, what is Miranda doing at the end when she's, like, stabbing that thing, and the kid's out, and they stab their mom? Like, they don't pan into, like, a photo that she's, so you're, like, clearly stabbing, like, this picture, but it doesn't show you anything. I don't know what Nobody you're talking knows, about. Huh? Casey goes up and finds Miranda, and she's in the room doing this, and just as they do that, the one kid, Nikki, takes a crayon oh, it's and just sticks it through cutting. That's all it is. his mom's eye. Yeah. That's all it is. But Miranda's sitting they there and she's of times in this. Like, stabbing, and it doesn't show what she's stabbing. Right. It's just supposed to show the downward swing of something at the same time that somebody's getting stabbed in the eye. But why That's is she stabbing is. that picture? Because she's infected with these other kids? I thought at this Maybe. point that like, she may be, like, controlling them. But yeah, it, I and have she's a the bad soul, idea. Are you talking about the blood? Yeah, the, yeah, Miranda. Yeah, because I actually have that down. By the she car. calls the little kid a dick a whole bunch of times. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, I have it written down as how is the blonde girl controlling everything. Huh. It's like she made them stab when she was doing that. She's the leader of these little shits? Maybe, but she just got there with her mom. And she's she wasn't the, the oldest, first to puke. She's the oldest of the youngest kids there. Yeah, but... Next would be Casey. Boy, we're just kind of... We're really thinking this. <laughs> Trying to come up with something. Well, you have to. It doesn't tell you anything. Well, this is when they pan away and find the blood trail going out the fence that we didn't even know was Where there. the kids took the the, the wow. sled riding guy. Robbie. The pervy uncle. Uh, uh, to the hey, tent. To the tent. Lose the uncle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that mom, the brunette. Uh, at one point, she's yelling at... What's the, the, the Eastern philosophy guy? The glasses. Jonah. She's yelling at him about how men need to take control. Yeah. No, I have even though she was bitching at him because he was spanking his kid. 
but now men need to take control and actually just do know. anything I tell you, whether it contradicts what I told you before or not. Just do it. Oh, that's not women. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay, so now that girl falls off the jungle gym and uh, her monkey bars and busts yeah, her the, knee. The, 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 Someone uh, kicked her in the leg. Okay. okay. <laughs> you have your version. We have what really happened. Saw, did, there was like clearly another set coming in before she fell. Okay. That's you didn't fine. see it. It was we'll real, just go. That's fine. We're, the only way you're going to solve it is if you have to put it in like a player where you can just frame by frame. Frame, frame by frame. On YouTube that way. And I'm not going to do it. So. I'll do it and I'm going to send it to you. All right. You do that. Um. Rocks start coming through windows of the greenhouse. How? Casey and okay. The yeah. There's okay. only two kids out there. Uh, or are there more? I don't know. Look at the other kids from the woods. Could be. Might. Um. Yeah, they kind of hole up in the. They're in the greenhouse, and meanwhile the greenhouse. The, well, also I think somebody went into the tent. Yeah, the mom. And there's uh, a there's yeah, a the... there's a baby doll stuck in the one guy's guts. Yeah, because she looked out. Uh, she looked out to see her husband laying in the snow because she's still trying to get a hold of the... They don't tell us anything about the <laughs> ambulance. Nope. She sees the body missing in the blood trail to the tent. So she goes out to yeah investigate and she sees a baby doll, which I thought there was going to be a bigger jump scare there. Yeah. The tent, but the other two, the blonde mom and Casey make it back to the house. Yep. And then that's really creepy, those fucking little kids coming through the pet door. Ugh. Yeah, and, and then did you get a shining vibe? I know that the dad pretty much just like threw the daughter onto the freaking couch, and I'm like, maybe he's abusive. Could be. Or, Jonah? Or, yeah. He, he's real abusive, I yeah. think. Yeah, well, he's smacking his one kid. He's ready to take any um, shot he can. Yeah, I got a very shiny vibe. Not that they were twins, but it was like the two little children standing beside each other, mm-hmm. like down a corridor, and then um, uh, the whole busting through the wooden door thing. And Casey is like, Trying to take command, trying to explain to the parents, these kids are like, something's going on. The, the parents aren't really totally buying it. But then when her that door, that wooden door, like breaks open and you see, is it Casey's face? It's through the door and she mm-hmm. grabs one of the kids and just spears them on the... That's when I was like, all are right, we, in your movie, you got that, me now. <laughs> we're not that far yet, are we? Yeah, we're getting there, yeah. In today's films, you usually don't have like a strong teenage female presence no that takes control well you knew these parents weren't gonna do shit well no yeah so. uh she's given them ample time to come to their senses but is this where jonah takes the blonde girl puts her in the vehicle and they're gonna drive for help yep and they take off and then the uh i don't know what the other mom's name is the brunette this is where she dies right Crayon through the eye, or she gets that pencil into eye. First, she blames oh, she then. blames um Casey Casey for everything. Everything, yeah. of course. Then runs into the woods to find her kids and gets stabbed in the eye by. She a pencil. tells Joan to go back to the house and yeah. beat Casey up. That's right. <laughs> she does chuck her. Yeah, he smacks for the can. He takes a candle oh, yeah, and he, he fucking her beats the... her on the head. Um, and then locks her in that room, and that's when that's when the broken the door. Leg. Yeah, the door gets busted and, yeah, and she comes. breaks out and. Um, now the, here's my question: the mom has, the mom has this broken leg, and she's hobbled up two flights of stairs to get to where Casey is behind this door. She's got a fire poker. These kids are coming towards her. She's, this is where I she thought she just gives up. This is where I thought the kids were controlling. Earlier, it did show her almost killing herself. She's on the couch. She had a knife. Yeah, she was going to, herself. and Casey like pounded on the door at that exact moment. Yeah. She was about ready to stick herself. That's where I started thinking what the kid's can, able to control. And I think that's a Village of the Dam. I think type because her kid died. Reference. And she was, like, you know, being attacked by kids and she didn't want to kill the kids, that she tried to kill herself to have to mm. not deal with it. I just got a Village yeah. of the Dam. But... Yeah, and then they take a knife and they're going to they're gonna open her. her stomach and put this little Blair voodoo Witch. Doll in it. Blair Witch looking stick. That's what I have. Voodoo. Uh, that, I was is like, that... is this voodoo? She had the or cult. She had the tattoo of the baby, and Did then they stuck that baby doll in the dad's gut. Is there what is? Going on? I don't know. I don't <laughs> care. Whatever they want to do. So I don't know what's going on in this movie. No, at this We're point. We're not there yet. At this point, the kids are doing voodoo-like things. There is no explanation for them being mad. So they're about ready. Yeah, the mom has a fire poker, and they're about ready to cut her stomach. 
And Casey's been beating on his door, and she finally breaks through and sees Polly. No. Polly, yeah. Nikki. So. Nikki's okay. a little boy from that family. Okay. And grabs him and impales him on That's this awesome. shard of door. Yeah, it <laughs> looks great. It's the best part of the movie. And then um, the little girl runs and kind of cowers over on the steps. And they're going towards her, and the mom's like, no, just leave her. I'd have been like, she's fucking dead. Well, you kill this guy, you know she was with him and involved. Kill her. No, they leave her. And then they go get in their Jeep, and they start driving. Volvo, I think. It's a wagon. Yeah, they're trying to drive out of there, and then and they this come is across. Where, yeah, this is where I said, where is um, Jonah's truck? Because you know he's going to be there. His posh Land Rover, it looked like. Um... They come across it in the woods. It's a it's abandoned. It hit a tree. Looks and bad. Someone the, flew through the Casey, windshield. Casey gets out to investigate. Because her mom, mom has a broken mom leg. Can, which, the mom's driving though, right? With that broken okay. leg foot. Now it's in Britain, so she might be driving. Uh, it was the right year. leg. Creepy shit was happening in these woods. Yeah, kind of. They're mm. panning to the... Desolate, and through, uh, throughout the movie, they've been showing great nature shots of the woods. It's just empty and cold looking. It looked cold. You can um, hear some like giggles in the back. But when what's the blonde mom? Casey's out of the car. She's investigating the Chloe, or is that the other mom? But um, that's when kids start popping up. Yes, yeah, the kids start popping up. Casey's about this to be. This is packed. real weird though. Before she sees that, there's this giant body that like crosses the window and i'm like who is this guy and then it ended up being all the kids and i'm like <laughs> like swinging from branches yeah I'm like, ah, you can see, well they like, kill the um the uh blonde hit her with a car yeah the blonde sister <laughs> is coming the, at her with the creepy axe. the creepy the creepiest i think child and is she's coming got, for she got uh, paler throughout the movie too mm-hmm. yeah she's coming for casey and she walks right in front of the car and the mom puts it in drive, and just crushes her. And I was just like, oh, it's rough. You see, like, a, a little child's body hit the <laughs> window you go down. with a blood spray. And as they're driving off... Casey has a look in her eye. Yeah, they play this, like, really suspenseful dun, music, dun, dun. and that's it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to make And lots that. of kids just... Kids appear! Kids appear beside the car as they're leaving, and there's 30 kids that just appear in these woods. Are they infected? <laughs> Are they ghosts? Are they demons? I don't know. No idea. And that's it. They're like, oh, you want to know, don't you? Bye. <laughs> so that's it. This movie's over. Uh, who wants to go? I'll go. Okay. I'll do it. Uh, I must have been really happy when I scored it originally, because I gave it a seven, but wow. looking back, I'm going to give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> There's no explanation for anything. A lot of the, the stuff that's built up to goes nowhere. A lot of the subplots mean nothing, but they do murder some kids, and there's some pretty intense shit happening when when shit does go down. There's some cool kills and and stuff. So again, though, are you afraid of kids though? No. In the long run, if you had to, you would just. I hit them with a car. Yeah, absolutely. You'd have to. And if I was. You're looking at me like. If I was on a sled going down a hill and I saw something sharp, I'd get off the sled, just kind of get off it. I mean, if a little kid <laughs> is killing people, and this is horror movie scenario I'm I think, fucking that kid up I think you could like this movie maybe oh by the way this is a Christmas movie at one point somebody opened a present <laughs> uh, like, and there was a lot of snow yeah there's like Home Alone mass chaos going on in that house at the beginning and it made me nervous cause I don't like people I don't like groups of people <laughs> I don't like crowds of people and that was way too many Are you want my opinion yeah yep. uh I I have to go. It was my pick. I'm going to go a little better than you. I'll just give it a five and a half. I thought it was the first 10 or 15 minutes a little slow. I, on the other hand, it didn't bother me as much that they didn't really try to explain what's going on. I just, I saw these kids coughing. I thought it was a virus. They used that and then just basically went into homaging British creepy kid horror. The Omen, uh, Village of the Damned. That's what I thought. English countryside, you know, that whole setting. I thought the... Some of the shots, like you said, Cobra, like the shots of the woods, I thought it nice. uh, thought it looked good. I forgive it a little more with just how cheap the budget was. I didn't really look into the writing and like who who wrote it or uh, any of that. Um, and I, I'm not a parent, so I can. I'm one of those people that will preach how to parent. 
And perfect. I like, I like the, cause I think parents are to blame for a lot of shit in this world. And I like the fact that these parents just refuse to believe that their kids could, could be, you know, mean or evil or, uh, and then there's so much parent shaming and blaming going on in, in the world today that I can see, like, it's, it's always somebody else's fault, uh, other than the person who, you know, does it. Um, and I thought only a British film could do this. Like, I'm, I'm trying to picture what this would look like if it was made in America with a, quote, strong teenage girl character that just wouldn't happen. But, um, I thought... They did a pretty good job with making kids creepy. I don't know. Yeah, they creep me out. <laughs> yeah, five and a half, six, somewhere in there. Cobra. I'm going to be a little lower. I gave it a four. Uh, I didn't know what was going on the first 15 minutes of the movie. I didn't know whose kids were who. Yeah, there was, I didn't know. that was and, the ta- and, and literally, this kid is beating a xylophone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, throughout the movie until he gets killed. But, yeah, they do kill some kids. Um, some of it looks good. I love Blood on Snow. Yeah. It looks good. Friday the 13th, pay attention to this movie. <laughs> Take oh, some they notes. they can do some good things. But I didn't... At the end, they they pan on this blood, so you think that it's going to be a virus. But then at the end, all these kids show up, and you're like, well, who are these kids? Where did they come from? Are they living in the woods? Are they ghosts? Are they somehow demons? Is it witchcraft? Are they aliens? I don't know. Are these kids coming back after they've been murdered? That's what I think is happening. Is that what's happening? That's Maybe not bad. that I mean, Robbie that dad was murdering people and raping yeah. them. Jesus, you went dark. Wow. <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it looked, the movie looked really good for being so low budget. Yeah, it was pretty but, low budget. Um, the acting was fine. The kids were fine. But I need to know what, what was going on yeah. a little bit. And for that, I'm going to give it just a four. Because you don't have enough slashing and stuff for me to appreciate it. So I need a more story than that. Or at least explain something. Explain it! You don't have to do, like, exposition, but something. Something. And, yeah, I don't Anything. care how you do it. I don't... It doesn't matter. Just, I don't care if you want to tell me there's ghosts and viruses. If you, yeah, just if some guy just wants to run through the woods going, Ghost children! Fine. Yeah! yeah that's all he's running by. The ghost children guy. I'll try harder next time. Yeah, I yeah, I can I recommend this movie bad. though. There's yeah. not there's it's probably watchable. not more than thirty Christmas movies out there, so yeah, I would say it's probably better than and Silent six of, Night, Deadly Night them Three, are Four, Silent and Five Night, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it was watchable. Yeah, I mean, it's watchable it's... for sure. All right, that's it. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us, facebook.com backslash horrorcasting, horrorcastings at gmail dot com, and we're on Twitter at horrorcasting. I really YouTube. <laughs> Oh, yeah, YouTube. We got a bunch of shit. We got, like, 71 videos now. We're fucking cranking them out. Famous. Sometimes yeah. John just talks Sometimes about Sometimes I just talk about whatever. That rainbows might... and horses. And cows. I did talk about cows. I might talk about rainbows and horses next. And I'm fascinated that you talked about, what was it, stereotypical nurse? What? Nurse stereotypes. Nurse stereotypes. That's okay. why I have that book in the background. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I try every week to put something up, or every show to put something up. So, on the wall, not on the internet. Yeah. I put those up like every two days. <laughs> so, check out the YouTube channel. Just look up Just Another Horror Podcast. We're going to put something else up. We're going to put up a tagline show. Come another on. quiz. Another quiz. We gave Ben two weeks to prepare. And since episode 100 is coming can... out. Come back! We're going to have the top ten Why can't again. I ask them and YouTube ask? I already took them all and I You already fucking all. know. He just doesn't want to lose to me again. Because he knows he will. Who, will. me? Him. Who, me? Oh. Him. He's like, you want to you go over there? <laughs> you need. I even. I told him two days ago. Hey, tagline. To brush up on. Thrill me. All right.